Alright, during this unboxing, I may sound like shit. Because I am not well at the minute. So, yeah, and thanks to the illness, I'm also deaf in this ear at the minute. Got a sore throat, headache, dizziness. So, yeah. Haven't got COVID though. Although, I'll be honest, I'd kind of rather have COVID because at least then, COVID only lasts a few days. Or at least it did when I had it, whereas this has bloody lasted a week now. And hasn't had any improvements. Let's go on antibiotics now. Anyway, in this box is £18.59 worth of stuff. If you include the postage. Where the fuck has my knife gone? Uh, I don't know where my knife has gone. I'll have to use some scissors. I like the fact that they wrote fr that they use tear flex egg fragile. Or what's in this box isn't really fragile, that fragile. But yeah, hooray! Uh, and this isn't just one thing. This is a bunch of things. And this is a bunch of things. I'm guessing a lot of you are probably don't give less of a shit about. But hey, here we go. So yeah. So yeah, I saved a ton in, with postage on these. Oh my god. I'm just going to show you this. They printed out a colour invoice. A really bad inkjet print of a skill. But uh, you can see all the prices down there. Ooh. But yeah, each of these things, like the, the most expensive thing in here was £6.50. The second most expensive thing was £1.20 and everything else was 99p. So, yeah. Let's get the most expensive thing out of the way. Bubble wrap. Again, where did my box got a box got a got a got a can't think a lack of sleeper. Yeah, do you remember sleep? I don't. Straighten that out a bit. So yeah, uh it's a Dr. Egg Bang. Hooray, brand new in his box. Um yeah, got a bit of dust. So yeah, a little bit fringed and that around the top, but six pound fifty. And that pretty good. Everything else is loose. Start with this just because this is loose. The first thing I grabbed out here. So here we have a a shadow and this is an early shadow figure from Jack Pacific because he has the bendable limbs hooray so yeah not much else to really see on that again technically 99p if you don't include the postage and the postage was only uh, £4.50 oh he's got a very bendy nose this nose was kind of squashed, but yeah, there we go. I'll show the bottom. It's nice that they actually did put the tread on there. And uh, instead they put the legal information on the barcode or whatever on that on the back. Can you tell my voice is going? And then all the other singular figures have all just bungled in a bag. Together. Yeah, I don't know why that one was on its own. Maybe, maybe they forgot. Off of this one because uh, I do already have, in fact, a few of these. In fact, so but I never had a loose one. And this is the Tails uh, minifigure, but this one is the spinning Tails, so yeah, this is a loose one. 
this one again I only really got because well I would like a loose one and uh, yeah I got a loose one hooray and uh, his mouth is actually painted on hooray with that the only other minifig I can't remember where I've got this one or not I think I do but uh, yeah it's a loose mini or two and a half inch Sonic figure this is the one with the pointing finger, and there's a bunch of different variants of this. And most of them are just like, some are the more, it's basically just slightly different expressions, or sometimes it's a open hand, or whatever, anyway. Okay, so this one is a non-Jack specific Sonic figure. It's a Tomy Boom Sonic figure, which the Tomy figures are starting to go up quite a bit in price. Um, yeah, they're Sonic, they're Boom Sonic, not too so bad. Although the paint apps around the eyes and a lot of the, most of the ones I've seen are like this. Like, if you look at the, the painted, the top of his muzzle white, just like his eyes. It's really weird. But uh, yeah. There we go, there's Boom Sonic. He's, he's bigger than... He's slightly tall. I guess that would technically be in scale with the 2.5 inch range. I guess. Let's see, a witch. And I've always think, thought this figure looks a bit odd. Here is the Sonic Boom Tails figure. And this one, just the expression of doing... That... I just think it's a bit odd. I don't know why, it just looks really odd. Um, the colour of his goals, the pink and them completely brown, the lenses should be red. But the thing is though, it's hard to tell on camera on its own, but his colouring is off. Let me just show you, so, this is the colour he should be. And this is the colour he is. You can see it's considerably darker when he shouldn't be. And also what they've sneakily done here, rather than doing two separate tails, they've done one and then just had it split at the end. Which, yeah, kind of cheating. I think the Tommy figures are generally known as some of the weakest ones, but they're the only boom ones that exist. Because they had the license and time. This is nice though. He does have his communicates and everything. So there is there is that. Like they're not horrible. They're not horrible, but yeah. And then the last boom one, just because again this one. Uh, this is a more angrier looking Sonic. The he's got eyebrow and his teeth showing. Yeah. This one still has the issue where the pink, the white of his eyes has gone onto his muzzle, but uh, not quite as bad. So, yeah, that is now my entire collection of Boom Sonic figures. Alright then. Metal Sonic. Uh, I do not have any 4 inch uh, Metal Sonic figures, so yeah, this is the first one I've got, and this is. Uh, I believe, again, the Bendy Limb type one. Yeah, it is. So this is the original Bendy Limb one. Which they stopped doing, and the reason is is because, um... Unfortunately, most, you know, Bendy Limb figures are gonna, unfortunately, because they're made of rubber, they have to put rubber around them rather than hard plastic, they are gonna deteriorate over time, and in some cases just flat out disintegrate, so... It is unfortunate, but that is probably what is going to happen to the E6. What's happened to some of them already, the ones that have been uh, plagued with quite a bit. But at least, you know, for now, he is in good nick. These are, these are in really good nick, especially considering the price. I mean, I thought the Shadow would have gone uh, for a lot more, but uh, it didn't, in fact. Yeah, it's weird. Some of them did, some of them didn't, but yeah. 
And then finally, I didn't need this one. I already have one. But I thought, hey, you know, for the money, I gotta have another. We have one teals with the bendy limbs. So, yeah. It's like just dusk, or is that? Yeah, it's just a bit of dusk. So, yeah, again, these are in excellent condition. I'm assuming these are being bought. These were bought initially um, by another collector. Because they don't feel like they've been plagued with. And that they're, just, they're probably just being sitting on a shelf. So, my which is good, because it means they're in excellent nick. So, yeah. Boy, I'm really losing my voice at this rate. So, yeah, that's uh, everything. Let's check. Yeah, that is indeed everything and you can see. Yeah, if I show you. There they all are. There they all are. Um, but yeah, the seller was selling a bunch of different ones, other ones. I could have probably got other ones, but yeah, these ones for some reason, like some of these, basically I was the only bidder on. Like this, this, and uh, what was it? Yeah, this, this, Metal Sonic. And uh, both boom figures, and that I was the only bidder on. So, yeah, there we go. There we go. It's just, it's just weird sometimes. It's weird, but yeah, I feel like I have gotten a pretty good bargain there. So, yeah, there we go, people. There we go. All right, today is the twenty sixth of April, and uh, I got this today from uh, Wax Records for uh, sixteen ninety nine. And, um, yeah, I think that's a pretty good price for this. Now, this I have been putting off for a long time. And there's a reason why. Uh, it is because I've been checking the various HMVs in my area. Because, on two occasions, I have seen HMV get Target exclusive versions of vinyl records. Just accidentally... And obviously, I've never seen a Target version of this, you know, arrive in the UK that wasn't imported. But, you know, I thought I'd have a look, see if I could find one just by chance, but no. But, uh, so yeah, I guess this is just the standard uh, black vinyl uh, version. So, yeah. Not an album I'm very familiar with, uh, I'll be honest. Uh, the only uh, track I'm familiar with is uh, Bring Me To Life, but... um. Yeah, I thought, why not? Why not give it a good listen? I did listen to uh, the, what was it, 2017, 2018 live version. And I'm, I'm tempted to get the vinyl of that just for that. But uh, yeah, it says, not a gatefold, so I won't have to completely take off the cellophane. I'll just make a slit with my fingernail, like that. We'll see if it comes with a download code as well. I think this is heavyweight vinyl by the... F this might be... Does it say? Um, no. And... Uh, no download code either. Mm, actually, no. I don't know if this is. I, I'm not sure. I, I think this is probably... I don't know. Actually, ooh, it might be. It might be. It's either 140 or 180, you can see bits of excess vinyl I've just got onto there. I'm just going to clean that off. In fact, I'll give it a, I'll give it a proper clean uh, off camera in a second. But um, yeah, there, there we go. Not really much else to see on that. It's very thin. It is very thin. But uh, yeah, that is something that I would like to see. Um, all of these Target exclusives, and I do have a couple of them. I do have a couple of them, ones that I did import. 
<coughs> thanks to EB. It's annoying that they don't get any other release, like, outside of the US. Like, um, Avril Lavigne's uh, Let Go 20th Anniversary Edition. I really want that Target exclusive, but the cheapest I've been able to to see it is on eBay, and that's for £50. £50! Which is more than double what I could get for just... You know, just getting it here in the UK, but that would be just black vinyl, because we only have a black vinyl version. I know Japan got a white vinyl version, but still that that Target exclusive um, red. Um, what what do they call it again? I don't know, swirl vinyl, whatever you want to call it. Yeah, it's just it's just a shame with that. It's just a shame with stuff like that. Um, with you know, because they. Some of them are really nice. Some of them are really nice. Some of them are random as well. I know when they re-released uh, some Linkin Park albums, uh, they did Minutes to Midnight in yellow vinyl, which is a bit odd, because normally the colour of the vinyl, you know, generally has something to do with the artwork on the album itself. But yeah, doing it yellow, just <clears throat> when you compare that artwork, it just seems a bit of a massive contrast uh, between the two of them. But um, yeah, there we go, people. There we go. All right, so it's the 27th of uh, April a day. And um, I realised uh, I need... I think I should, before I get into the thing I'm unboxing, I'm going to talk about these. So, well, they're technically both one thing. This is This one here is the download code. That was included with my Lincoln Park uh, Meta Aurea. Um, this uh, on the back of here, I'm gonna hold off my finger of it, but uh, this is just uh, a QR code. I could probably show this because it's just a QR code that's a link uh, that you could optionally type into if you had this code. But uh, yeah, now what I initially thought this was just a digital copy of the album. Um, or, you know, all the stuff you got on there. Uh, it is, but it's also more than that. You also get a year's uh, subscription, premium subscription to uh, LPU, which is the Linkin Park sort of fan site uh, where you get exclusive stuff on there, exclusive stuff to one download, but also exclusive stuff to uh, purchase from there, as well as discounts and other stuff. <clears throat> um, I was already a member, so I just basically just clicked the upgrade option. So, yeah, uh, but I was under the free tier option where you just got to basically view all that stuff. But, uh, yeah. Anyway, the problem was, for some reason, the download code didn't work. But the thing is, the download code said, uh, download link not yet available. Yeah, it didn't say invalid code, it just said not yet available when I went to get my digital download of this and uh, this went on and I did contact the LPU store and eventually they had to forward it on to um, Warner Brothers, uh, the Warner Brothers store I think it is and uh, yeah Warner Records and eventually they gave me a link to download it and uh, yeah I was impressed because it because by this point I gripped the CDs and the DVDs. <coughs> and I thought, uh, you know, is there a point going with the download? Well, yeah, there is. Because one, I'll show this, but it's 89 tracks in all one thing. And they're all numbered and that, but also it's a FLAC file download as well. But uh, that download includes stuff that uh, wasn't on the CDs, like the live in Nottingham, which isn't on the CD, it's only on the vinyl on there so yeah that was on there so yeah and also live in texas which is on available on cd i think it's out of print by now but uh that was available digitally as well and they were all it was a flag file download which yeah and 89 tracks and the digital copy i found if you want the digital only version of the 20th anniversary version of this for the full digital copy that i got for free with that it's 60 pounds, 60 pounds, like bloody hell. <coughs> Though, to be very fair, it is a flag file download, so 
you know, if it was MP3s, I'd be kind of raising an eyebrow. But flat files, yeah, uh, I think, I can't remember if they worked 16 or 24 bit. I think they were 16 bit. The live scuff was definitely at 16 bit. Um, but still, even, so basically CD quality. But, uh, yeah. There we go. But, yeah, glad they sorted that out. Anyway. <coughs> I've got a, I've got a chesty cough at the minute because I'm recovering from an illness. Can you tell? But uh, anyway, I was out today and um, I just I, I popped into an Asda today just to use the toilet. And on my way out, when I went through the toy aisle, uh, at the on the very top shelf, I spotted this. So yeah, uh, the story behind this is much more interesting though than the thing itself. Uh, because the problem was it's on the top shelf and uh, yeah um, I tried standing on the bottom shelf to try and reach it but I couldn't quite reach it because it was far at the back and there was only one of these so I then got a staff member and I was you know I thought you know maybe the staff member uh, might you know get a lad or one of them step schools that they sometimes have but uh, no um, he tried standing on the bottom shelf like I did and didn't work and then he tried on the second uh sh the shelf above that and still couldn't quite so he had to climb up and bearing in mind these are not me the shelves you know are not made to support the weight of uh an adult you know though he makes to support stuff like that um he was able to grab it for us yeah so uh but yeah um there was no price tag out on it um and that's but uh i scanned it just to see how much it would be because it was actually only 11 pound now that means probably nothing to most people but everywhere else at the time of recording is charging um 13.99 or 14 pound for this so yeah and also interesting this is also made by character options not jack specific <coughs> for those who have been watching remember i got the sonic one uh, the standard sonic one for christmas they also had the knuckles as well but the thing is they also had uh, the super sonic and i think that's why i think they've just probably got because they only had one tails and one knuckles there and i think what's happened is they've just gotten these possibly accidentally or just in an order because uh that's how much they were charging for the regular sonic beforehand so yeah but anyway Excuse me. I got it slightly cheaper. That was that was uh, the story. So yeah, let's open it up. I am surprised though. I'm surprised these clamshells are still allowed to exist. These plastic clamshells. Uh. Because I swear there was a rule about these not being allowed to be made anymore because of... I think it was one, the waste of plastic, but also because uh, the amount of people who had actually cut themselves on it, particularly kids. And uh, apparently not. And God, these things are just as difficult as ever to bloody get into. There we go, there we go, that's, that's going to go, that's, this and this are going straight into the bin, because I do not want to be accidentally standing on these. Anyway, uh, the reason I've also cut like this is because it has, it has this section here where it can be resealed like that, so you can put it back together, so, yeah, it's kind of half designed to be resealed, but the other half isn't, um, that bit doesn't didn't quite come away. There we go. But yeah, it's useful to put them back into because um Ooh, he has an extra piece of plastic on him. Okay. <coughs> because uh the thing that these are made of 
or any you know stretch Armstrong type toy is made out of uh, they infamously collect dust bits of dirt and that like there's no tomorrow Ooh, that has a very strong plastic smell you can see the copyright on the back of his head and uh, yeah it's uh, classic tales and uh, they've done what a lot of companies did and had the two seals just be one joined together. Yeah, it would be nice if they were separate because then you could literally spin them. But uh, yeah, there we go. Ooh, yeah. The head itself is just solid plastic and. Ooh, a bit of dirt on his hand. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> How long am I going to? It he is pretty small though. He is pretty small. How long are these two? Long, long tails. It's got bits of tail on him. Why is that? Is that going to rub off? Yes, it is. There we go. Got. Why is all that dirt on him? There we go. But uh, yeah, there we go. So yeah, I've noticed uh, character options have been releasing quite a lot of these recently. There's obviously this one there. I remember they had the Scooby-Doo one for the longest time, which is still in production, but um, they're now just seemingly doing a full uh, range of them. And that, uh, but uh, yeah, there we go. They are, the, it is though pretty small. It is pretty small. I mean, my actual figure's up there, but uh, you know, he's only about, Probably about five inches. From genre. Yeah. Like four and a half, five inches big. So, yeah, not as big as the stretch characters and that used to be. Although, seeing that, he is cheaper than those were. Because I... <coughs> I remember, I think Stretch Homer, because I did have a Stretch Homer. Um, when he... I, re I remember having Stretch Homer and he was... I think he was something like thirty pounds, or some ridiculous price like that. So, yeah, um, you know, eleven pound, yeah, fourteen pound is, is mm, start, starting to push it, starting to push it a bit. Like it's not, a, I won't call it quite rip off price, but you know, it's getting to the point where it feels like it's starting to be unreasonable. Let's uh, try, try and put them back in his box. Yeah, that'll about, I'll do, I'll do, so yeah, that'll keep him out of the way of any dust and debris and stuff like that, and hopefully make him last a bit longer. The, unfortunately, he will not last forever, um, because one day uh, he will go rock hard, uh, unfortunately, and um, the rubber, you know, that's around his body will then start to disintegrate, because... That is what happened with my stretch homer, so yeah. But um there we go, there we go. <laughs> 